Archpriest Sergei Baranov. Sermon at Palaelios on the day of the Ivoron icon. When the Ivoron icon of Holy Theotokos appeared off the shore of Athos, all of the Ivoron monks saw it, and all of them dashed to the sea. Everyone wanted to take this icon to his monastery as a blessing of God. They tried to approach it on a boat, and some made other attempts, but the icon drifted away. Only Elder Gabriel, a monk of the Ivoron monastery, would come near it and take it into his hands. In order to do that, he needed to get there across the water, not on board a ship or a boat, but by walking on the surface of the water. Therefore, the Mother of God let herself into the hands of the monk who had a pure faith to accept her. And so, the Most Holy Theotokos, more honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, with all her chastity and purity, trusted her holy image to the man of pure mind which excluded all doubts. St. Gregory the Theologian describes the state of faith with just one exact phrase. Faith is not an inquiring conviction. It is not self-persuasion, yes or no. It is a short Yes, with no doubt. It is not a state of having good or evil thoughts. It is the absence of thoughts and having one laconic faith. Such a state enables a human to walk on water. Remember what our Lord says in the Holy Gospel. If you have faith, do not doubt. I would like to specify what our Lord means. He means that we should have immediate faith without speculation. And then he adds, But also if you say to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. All of us are relatively faithful. Who can say to a fig tree, Wither, and it will wither at once? In the end, we just act and try to portray ourselves as someone. St. Apostle Peter with his childish, inquisitive soul, came into the state of faith and walked on water. All of a sudden, a doubt disturbed that simple and short state of faith and he started to drown. Chastity and purity of mind is the absence of thoughts and the presence of immediate faith that doesn't appear as the result of speculation, deliberation or curiosity. As St. Gregory the theologian said, faith is not an inquiring conviction. Any doubt desecrates and humiliates faith. Even in the 4th century, St. John of the Ladder was asked a question, Why don't we walk on water now? To which he answered, And where do you see the venerables now? What is the difference between a venerable and a common righteous human? It is chastity, and not only of the body, as chastity of the body is common with many decent people. They differ by the chastity of their mind which excludes all doubts. Only that doubtless condition allows faithfulness. Unfortunately, fewer people have it now. But the mercy of God and his Holy Mother covers up everything. Mother of God, glory to you.